Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily set up and install Python 3.9.0, PyCharm, which is the most popular Python ID, and Pygame, which is a cross-platform set of Python modules designed for basically writing, creating video games. So to install Pygame, we would be needing pip, which is a package management system for Python. So at first, let us see how to install Python 3.9 on Windows 10. To install, first we need to download it. Go to your favorite browser. I am using Google Chrome. You can use any browser. Open it. Now type Python. Press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible, python.org. Click on it. On clicking under download section, just keep the cursor. And on keeping the cursor, the current version Python 3.9.0 is visible. You need to click on it to download, or you can also click here, view the full list of downloads. So I'll straight away click here and download the exe file. On clicking in the bottom left, you can see the download started. Now we need to wait for a few seconds. So here we are installing for 64 bit OS. So we successfully downloaded Python 3.9.0. Now click on this arrow. Click on open to start installing. Let's minimize this. Now guys, you can see the installation started. Python 3.9.0 for 64 bit. You can straight away click here. Or if you need to change the installation path, you need to customize the installation. Click here. But before that, do not forget to add Python 3.9.2 path. Just select this and click on customize installation. Now you can see the optional features are visible. Keep it as default. This will install your test suite as well as the pip. Pip is a Python package. So just keep it as it is and click on next. Now advanced options keep the same. You can install for all users on this system. I'll select this. Now on selecting you can see the path is visible. Under this path Python will get installed. It's under C program files Python 3.9. If you want to change the path click on browse. And from here you can select the path wherein you need to install Python. Now here we will keep the same path. Click on cancel. Here it is the same path. Now click on install. Now the installation started. It will take some seconds. So guys we have successfully installed Python. Setup was successful. Now click on close. Now let's check that we have successfully installed Python or not. Go to start. Type cmd. Right click, run as administrator. Now guys CMD is visible, here type python hyphen hyphen version and press enter. Here you can see python 3.9.0 is visible, that means we have successfully installed it. So guys we have installed python 3.9. Now let us download and install pycharm. For that go to the browser. Here we are using Chrome, you can use any browser. Here type PyCharm. On typing, press enter. Now here you can see the official website JetBrains is visible. PyCharm ID is owned by JetBrains. Let's click on the website. So the official website is visible, JetBrains. Now to download PyCharm, click on download here. Now you can see two versions are visible for Windows, Professional Community. This is a paid version. You can go for a trial version here. But we will go for the Community version that is open source. Here it is. It is written free and open source. Now we will click to download. On clicking the download should start. On the left bottom you can see the download started. Now wait for few seconds. So the download completed. Here you can see the exe file. Now click on the arrow and click on open to install. Let's minimize this. Now the setup started. Click on next. Here the destination folder is visible. You need to choose the install location. The ID will get installed under program files. A new folder will get created, JetBrains, and under that it will get installed. If you want to change the location, go to browse. And you can change the location from here. Now click on cancel because we will keep the same location, the default. 
it will take 766 MB. Now click on next. Now you can see some installation options are visible. Here, yes, we want to create a desktop shortcut. Leave this, this is not much required, and create associations. You can leave this as well. Update path variable, yes, we need to update it. Now click on next. Now choose start menu folder, keep the default, and click on install. Now you can see the setup completed, it is installed. Now, if you want to reboot, now click on this and click on finish. But I'll manually reboot, click on finish. Now go to start, click on this icon power and restart from here. So, guys, we have successfully restarted. Now the shortcut is visible. Click on it, the PyCharm ID shortcut. Here you can see, do you want to import PyCharm settings? If you installed PyCharm before on the same system, so it will ask you to import settings, but we haven't installed it before, so we won't import settings and click on OK. Now you can see it is asking to customize, select the theme. I'll go for the light theme and click on next. Here, featured plugins are visible. If you want to install them, click on install, but we won't install it right now. Click on start using PyCharm. Now you can see welcome to PyCharm. Now let's create a new project. Here the location of the project is visible under C users Amit underscore it will create a folder PyCharm projects and under that the project will get saved at Python project. Let's keep the same. So here in this you need to select the environment. So I'll go for the existing interpreter. Why? Because we installed Python 3.9 just now. We will set the path here. How? Click on Existing interpreter here select the interpreter nothing is visible click on three dots Shift plus enter now you can see you need to select the virtual environment from here I'll go for system interpreter and Click here. Let's see what is visible. Here is the path We installed Python 3.0 and other program files and same folder got created. So I'll select this click on ok Now everything looks fine I'll uncheck this. I'll create my own Python file. Click on create. Now the project is loading. Let's maximize this. Here is a new project. You can see Python project was the name. Now right click, select new, and from here create a Python file. Let's name the file. Let's say the name is demo. Now just click on python file and it will automatically add an extension press enter now you can see extension added demo.py now let's write a sample code let's print something quickly so here i have printed something now what i'll do i'll go to run and i'll click on run here let's first save this save all now let's run it. Go to run and click on run here. Now, guys, here you can see the output is visible. Amit thinks Python program. Now let's see the location of the file demo.py. It's under C users. C drive users. Amit underscore folder here PyCharm projects Python project demo.py this is the location so guys we saw how we can run first program in PyCharm which is the Python ID so guys now now we need to install the package PyGame so that we can work on creating video games to install a package what do you need to do go to file here go to settings under that under the settings under the settings you need to select your project if you remember our project name was python project here it is on clicking here you need to click on python interpreter here you can see the package is installed 
we already have pip which we installed by installing python now to install a new package click on plus here on clicking plus all the available packages are visible now here type pygame here it is python game development version click here install package now now the package is installing now guys we have successfully installed it package pygame installed successfully now click on cross now here you can see we have installed pygame 2.0.0 now click on ok now i'll remove this to use pygame use the import keyword and pygame press enter on pressing enter if there is no error that means you have successfully installed it now let's initialize use pygame dot init now you can begin with working on your pygame program to code video games so guys in this video we saw how we can download and install python pip pycham id as well as the package pygame if you like the video subscribe to our channel amit thinks